Margaret Lynch or Neri <laughs> trying to type in a title and I went live. So hello, happy Monday. Well, yes, I'm working. Today's a holiday and this is our Monday Empowerment Show. Bethany is off again today, but today Bethany and I kick off the big challenge. And so this is our five day coaching transforms skills challenge where we are going to be teaching you a skill every single day, a skill that you can use immediately, a skill that you can practice. I'm going to teach it to you in a way that you can practice it. And this is your opportunity to win big prizes. And today I was going to talk a little bit more about key number five. This is what I'll be teaching on the fifth day of the challenge. And key number five is about really being able to kind of like see the matrix or the secret language of human nature and what causes resistance. I'm going to talk about the five big types of inner resistance that comes up in people. One of them is very global and the other four are very specific to a transformational journey as people progress right from one phase of a transformation into another. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about that today, but I wanted you to know that the, the challenge starts today. So one o'clock Eastern, I will be going live inside of our, our private Facebook group for the challenge um, and really getting you ready to go, letting you start to experience first what exactly skill you're gonna have and start practicing. And this is super important because when you want to help other people, it's so powerful to experience it yourself. As a matter of fact, something that really, really inspires me, hi Shakira, is how many coaches I've met over the years um, who've trained with me, who've said, Margaret, you know, I joined your program and then list, you know, a bunch of reasons. Like one person said, I just joined it for the marketing kit <laughs> because I already was a coach. Other people said, I just joined it because I wanted to help like my sister-in-law. And, and what they found in joining the program was a big important piece for them that they hadn't really looked at was how much of their own inner resistance they had to clear. Because even in joining a program where it's kind of exciting at first, you're learning, there was a resistance in, in some people to actually practicing, to practicing on other people. There was a resistance um, to actually moving on from all the fun part of learning and getting certifications to practicing, to marketing yourself, to saying, hey, I'm a coach. This is what I can do. You have to pay me. And there was a fundamental inner resistance sometimes to the kind of confidence that we want to exude, that confidence that says, yeah, I do believe in myself and I really am good with this and, and good at this. And instead, a lot of self-doubt, a lot of worry about how people would react, you know, being honest. These are the secret things we do inside. And so recognizing that when we want to help other people and we start to dismantle this mysterious thing called self-sabotage and procrastination and all the things that people do with human, you know, as part of their human nature, that they really don't understand why they do it, right? They're like, I don't know why I hold myself back and freeze or self-sabotage or go into a pattern which actually is against the goals I'm trying to achieve. And so when we start to see the matrix behind those patterns, these unsolvable, seemingly unknowable questions that people have about why do I do the things I do that are against my own, my own interest and my own goals, we realize we have to work on them in ourselves. And I just find that so inspiring over and over and over when I find how willing people are to start to learn a technique and then say, wow, I have this same resistance going on, even as I'm getting ready to practice some awesome techniques on people or charge or, you know, go back to my everyday life and actually set a boundary or ask for a raise or look for a new job or whatever it is, right? And so it inspires me when people have the courage not only to step into something new, but to, to go beyond the learning, go beyond the learning and take action, go beyond the learning and actually look within <laughs> the most courageous place that we need to look within ourselves 
and see like, wow, maybe I need to work on this all the time. Now, I'm the poster child for this. If you follow me for any amount of time, um, I often share how much of my own work has been inspired by my own disaster in here, pushing myself to take action, to take bigger steps, to grow the career that I have and seeing along the way how much inner resistance I have, how much I could procrastinate and the willingness to delve within. And of course, I've built that into my work because it's not just me and it's not just you that might struggle with learning something and getting stuck or just feeling stuck in the middle of a pandemic. It's all of us, it's human nature. Yes, there are some of those rare unicorns of people who are like, I just set a goal and then I achieve it. Well, good for those people. <laughs> but I'm not one of them and the majority of us are not one of those rare unicorn people and actually need help getting out of our own way and achieving our dreams um, and learning what we need to learn and taking action. So I find it very, very inspiring. And right now there is an inspiring group of people inside the challenge. So if you don't know how to get into the challenge um, and you're not on my email list, we'll put the link here in this email. Make sure you check back. But the challenge is starting today at one o'clock Eastern. And I don't want you to miss out because the people that are in there right now are incredible, inspiring, action taking people. And if you've been in the middle of this pandemic all around the world, it, there's been times where it feels sort of scary and overwhelming and depressing and hopeless. And it's a lot of, it has frozen a lot of our typical life. And we've reached a point now that the one thing I can tell you for sure is that taking a step that feels like action, that feels positive, that feels empowering, that you can actually take in a very safe way because it's virtual is going to feel like you're taking back some control of your life. And because by the way, it is right. We're creating something that can be amazing for you, whether you want to start a next chapter that's very different than your last chapter, maybe in your career, or whether you just want to learn something on the side that feels good, that is empowering, that is positive for people. And so I love the fact that we've got amazing people in there from all different walks of life. Some of them have no background in coaching. Some of them are already coaches. Some of them have techniques like tapping or emotional freedom techniques or angel cards or intuitive work. It's a whole amazing mix of people, but you know what they all have in common? They're taking the moment by the reins and they're ready to take action. So I encourage you to be inspired by that. If it's calling you, I don't want you to miss out. Join the challenge. There is a small fee to join. It is a very small fee. And guess what that fee is for? It's not because I need that small fee. It's because it's for you so that you have skin in the game and you are willing to commit. And by the way, we will be making that up for you in all that you will be accomplishing in this challenge because it's short, it's intensive, and we're going to go, go, go. And the nice prizes that we're giving you, especially the top prize, which is like a $7,000 value top prize that we have for you. You don't want to miss it. So I'm going to get back to preparing uh, for my challenge. Uh, but before I do, I just wanted to share again that on the fifth day of that challenge, I will be teaching you those five types of inner resistance. And let me tell you that uh, um, of the five, as I mentioned, one is a very big global sort of overriding piece of resistance that we come across as soon as we go into, how do I say this? As soon as we start working with someone or ourselves, to address the other four types of inner resistance. Okay, so let me tell you the, the, the four types and then I'll tell you the global types. Are you ready? Okay, so the first type of inner resistance is inner resistance that is built into you from your entire lifetime of childhood. Okay, so those are pieces of inner resistance like automatic fear that comes up. If you have to go ask your boss for a raise because 
of your childhood experiences, maybe a feeling like, oh my God, I'm going to get in trouble or they're not going to like me and that's really bad, or just some kind of like, often we don't understand where the fear comes from, or an automatic guilt that comes up if you need to ask for something for yourself or charge your worth, right? Or an automatic self-doubt that says, I don't know, am I good enough though? Maybe I'm not good enough. That is resistance that is wired in, it is built in from the past, and it doesn't change even when we get experience and we learn new things, we keep trying to outrun it, and it just keeps coming back because it's wired and built into our system from the past, okay? That's the first type. The second type is inner resistance that pops up as soon as we start to set big goals. So that will be a, a, a type of resistance that will come up loud and clear if someone were to make you sit down and set some really big goals for your next six months or a year, there would be a part of you that would immediately say, I can't do it, it sounds impossible, it's probably going to be really hard, a whole list of pieces of inner resistance. Um, and that can also have to do with the past, like, wait a minute, I tried this before and it didn't work out right? And so that's the second type of inner resistance. The third type of inner resistance is inner resistance that's very specific to shining with confidence. To And that means other people can see you, right? Standing in your confident energy and shining and saying, yes, I'm really good at what, something. I'm not perfect, but I'm really good at what I do. And I'm confident about that. And I believe in myself and actually having that be part of your energy, right? There's a very specific wired and resistance to that, which will make people crunch their shoulders down, play small, freeze, pull back, and be like, I'm just medium in their energy. And I I can't tell you over the past 14, 15 years how many women have said, you know, I know you're joking when you say, I'm just medium, but that's what I've been saying with my energy for years, right? Like, don't worry about me, I'm not a big deal. The fourth type of inner resistance is very specific. It's inner resistance that comes up, and this is one of the ones that people just don't understand about themselves. It's resistance to consistently taking action, like consistently taking action and moving forward. We've all experienced that. If we've ever set a goal for health or going to the gym or things like that, where suddenly we're just like, I'm just procrastinating. I'm just not doing it. I'm eating all the foods that I said I wasn't going to eat. And so it's a very specific type of weird overriding autopilot resistance that happens. And then finally, there's this fifth type of inner resistance, probably should be called the first type of inner resistance because it's so global. Oh, there goes my bunny. She's exploring our new house. Um, The fifth type of inner resistance is a global type of resistance. And I am out of time, so I'm not going to be able to explain it. You're going to have to join the challenge to find out what the fifth type of inner resistance is and why it's the most important because it overlays all of them and you can't crack into any of them until you understand that one. And I'm out of time, so I'm not going to tell you what is. Wow, that's terrible. Well, happy Monday, everybody. Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, Think about um, all the things that you can accomplish in this challenge if you actually commit to doing something positive, something generative, something that's going to involve taking action, and only be about five days, right? It's very, very contained And it's designed to really just move you forward. Okay, this is Margaret Lynn Trinieri, and I will see you inside the challenge, I hope. Make sure also you take the quiz. The quiz is part of the challenge. We want to know where you are, and it's going to give you some of those awesome training materials. And um, I'll see you inside there. All right, bye.